if you're new here and if you're no subscriber clicking to watch my new video thank you very much for stopping by and hanging out with me today obviously as you can see from the title of this video i'll be talking about i'll be reacting to stephanie coca's all um african and pregnant series i mean we watched it if you haven't watched it i'll put a link to the the description um, to her channel and the whole series on the description box you can just go in there and watch it if you don't know Stephanie Koka, she's a Nigerian celebrity. She is a Nigerian TV presenter. I've been following her for years. Like, I think when she first moved back to Nigeria, because I've been following Stephanie Koka for a very long time. She and Zaina Balogo, I think they were best friends at some point, or they were friends at some point, because I think they moved back from the UK to Nigeria almost at the same time, and then they hit our TV screens. They were, I mean, they were just everywhere, and I like, I like them. I like, I love them a lot. I, I, I obviously love their fashion sense. I feel like with me, fashion is you doing things out of the box. And Stephanie Coco and Senna Balogo, they do it for me, and um, they were quite close at the time, so I followed them closely. So yeah, I've, I've been following Stephanie Coco say from say twenty twelve or twenty eleven. I don't know for probably more than eight years. I've been following her for a very long time. So yeah, I know her. Not like I know her personally, obviously. I am very big on celebrities, so I follow some celebrities a lot, and um, I can I follow it your personal life, kind of. I'm not obsessed, I'm not obsessed, but just I like people that I like a lot. And I like Stephanie Kuka personally because of her fashion sense, so I used to really follow her and all of that. So yeah, she got married in 2016 to this guy and then all of that. And she wasn't she wasn't getting pregnant. I think she was having infertility issues. But the thing is, yeah, I didn't notice... I didn't care so much about her personal life to care whether or not she wanted to have kids at the time or she, if she was waiting. I did not care. I was, I'm, obviously, I'm not one of those people that go about commenting on people's pages. And I, I'm not a womb watcher, so I don't go comment on people's pages. Oh, when are you giving me? When are you having me? Are you, uh, I don't do that. I follow you. Like I said, I follow that Nicole for her fashion. So I just follow her. When she, when she dresses and she slays, I'm like, that's my girl. She's slinging and she's doing her thing. I love her and all of that. So her coming up with this old african and pregnant series and then sharing her journey through infertility it was an eye-opener for me that okay people struggle i mean with infertility it's a thing where like um adaize space said the rich also cried i'm doing this video because i watch adaize space reaction video and it just occurs to me like in nigeria yeah people need to come out and um speak more about this in old infertility thing. okay obviously i'm not married um but i'm a very vocal person even though i'm very proud of my my personal life i'm also a very vocal person and also with my channel my channel is about faith faith gospel and faith travel and lifestyle i'm a firm believer in god i believe god with the whole of my heart like i i know what god can do but at the end of the day whether you, if you whether or not you're having infertility issues or you're having a child through ivf at the end of the day it's god that has done it for you what adaisi said in her video she said that in her own reaction video to stephanie Cooker, she said uh, you in Nigeria, you will not see someone come out and say, Oh, I struggled for inf uh, with infertility for five years, for ten years, and then I did IVF and it worked. So, praise the Lord, hallelujah. People don't do things like that. People don't come out and say, Oh, I struggled with infertility, but I did IVF, or I did, I took this fertility pill, or I did this, oh, fertility, went through this fertility journey and it worked for me. So, thank God. They just feel like, Ah, it's a, okay, the miracle working God has done this miracle, and um, they don't share the details. It's, of course of course there's a stigma attached to you not having babies the natural way so people tend to just guard it they don't guard the information they don't they don't share it so then a lot of people struggle when there are solutions people struggle with these things with infertility when if someone else had shared their journey you probably have just asked the person and then you did, do your own research and then to probably told that line not blindly now now of course right now there's information right if people share their fertility journeys more it will be easier for us as women to go through life so yeah it was a good thing for stephanie Coca to come out as a celebrity i mean with her platform it was a good thing for her to come out and do that whole fertility journey video and one of the in in the, one of the videos i think on the first video when she said and her mom was like who asked you when she wanted to start this whole um, sharing of this thing on her youtube channel her mom was like who asked you did they send you should be his child if you better child what is it like who needs to know how and that's how the whole Nigerian mentality is like nobody asked for information nobody asked to know how you give it to your child i mean you give it to your child it might be three at least as long as everybody's concerned you have a child and that's fine it might be through ivf sorry but as long as everybody's concerned you have a child so it's fine it doesn't matter how but i mean some of us really care to know how not because i'm prying into a personal life but because i feel like it's to encourage someone else out there that is married and um struggling with infertility i feel like you will have enough information that's why that's why we have youtube and google and we have all these things if there's enough information to help someone else it's worth it it's worth the try it's worth doing so 
if she, um, now the fact that Stephanie Coca and uh, I don't know how to pronounce her husband son, you know, I would have been pronouncing her husband son right now, but I'm not good, I'm not even going to try it. So I know her Stephanie Coca initially, so I'm just going to stick with Stephanie Coca. <laughs> The fact that she came out and did what she did, I, I applaud her effort. I really liked it. I I like that um, she did that. And Adaize that spoke about it that made me to see this video to be doing my own reaction video. Yes, I, I like that. Adaize too, I think she struggled with infertility for a while and then she took some pills and um, um, she did some things and she now she has children, which is fine. It is okay to... Uh, infertility is a common problem. People don't like to... It's, it's more common than we like to admit, yeah? People don't like to say these things, but it's a common problem. Is what is it's happening in our society? So if someone else has a way out, if someone if someone has a way, and then they have a child through some not not diabolical means, but like through medical assistance, yeah, it's still God. At the end of the day, the Bible says, "I'll be gracious to whom I'll be gracious to." That's what the Bible says. Some people have tried IVF and it didn't work for them, honey. IVF is not an easy process. It's hard. It is a hard process. It is a gruesome process. And people go through it and God favors them with a child. It is still God. At the end of the day, that's, and that's the reason why I'm doing this video. Because at the end of the day, it is still God. As much as we don't like to admit that, okay, if we go through medical help, that it, it almost feel like we are eliminating God in the process. No, you're not. Even through that IVF process, you, are, you have to pray. You have to include God all the way because at the end of the day, God is gracious to whom he's gracious to. He will give child to whom he wants to give child to. So the fact that you have all the money in the world does not guarantee that your IVF or whatever process you're going through would work. So when you go through a process, say like IVF, and then you come out with your child, you should take that child to God and say, God, you did this. Like, I guess I battled with the first lady. Yes, I went through um, IVF. And Lord God, you did this. You brought this result. At the end of the day, it is God. That's, that's my own point in this video. Because people don't like to admit that all these um other medical assistants is still god's intervention they feel like they are playing god no you're not playing god it's like okay okay right now it's like um right now you have phones we can call like, our siblings abroad and everything and just like someone's still insisting on writing hand letters and posting you through the mail to get to reach your loved one abroad because you feel like you don't want to um use technology i don't yeah something like that so you you writing that letter because you want to stick to the old ways and you you want to just be stuck in in the past. It's, you'll be writing letters when there are easier ways you can just pick up the phone and call. So that's 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 what I'm trying to make that you going through IVF or seeking medical assistance to have a child is not you eliminating God. It's just you making use of the available tech, the technology that we have right now. It's God that gave all these people, the scientists, the technical know how to come up with these things. It is God at the end of the day. So you have a child. You have a child. At the end of the day, it's a child. Child has liver, child has heart, child has nose, mouth. Yeah, what's missing? It's a child and it's God. So that's what I'm trying to point out in this video. That, um, yep, infertility is a real struggle, people struggle with it. But when you come up with it through whatever medical assistance that you, you did, it's okay to share your journey, it's okay to admit that you went through the infertility struggle and that you did this this and this and this and this you sought, sought and so medical assistance and it helped you and it worked and still give glory to god it does not eliminate god as christians because we are so religious we're so religious that we feel like if i if i now say that it's like if it's not be like see it's not be as if it's not god that did it no 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 honey at the end of the day it's god that did it it is god we can't count how many people go through ivf and it doesn't work so when you go through all these medical things and it works for you give god the glory but mention that I went through this, this, and that, and it worked because God, as God did it, because God did it at the end of the day. That's what I'm trying to say. So, and all those are womb watchers, them that are going to people's comment section and writing, when will we live back? When will we live back? When we... What's your own? What's, what's, what's your problem? <laughs> Did I come to this or to please you? Was I created to live for you? I mean, I was created to live for God. So, as long as I'm fulfilling God's demands, mandates in my life, as long as I'm living for Christ, I'm doing the things that pleases God. It doesn't, me, me and you don't have business it's not your consign to get me to get me so can we open up business because we open up with to be honest with you i didn't even notice that so the has been married for that long without a kid it wasn't it wasn't my problem it was not my issue like i don't have a what's my own what's my own someone is married they're married whether they're not married God said i'm not married God, what's my own inside if you bring child that will celebrate it if you don't bring child me i shall be happy with you i will follow you for whatever reason i was following you before in the first place i wasn't following self nico cards for her to get married i wasn't following her for her to start giving birth to children and popping children everywhere that wasn't the reason i was following her for her fashion sense maybe some people come online and follow you because they wanted to give birth maybe 
people 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 might be that crazy to follow people and be watching their wombs yeah some people are that crazy but i wasn't one of those people i didn't even notice that time had gone that she decided to go and do ivf but i salute her effort i commend her and her husband for doing that and um for sharing the journey for sharing the whole story it was it was what it i watched i watched the whole i don't do i watch every episode I, think I, I missed one episode but i watched the most parts yeah so definitely congratulations on your baby girl and um she recently turned six months yep um thank god and um thank you guys for watching so as women let's encourage ourselves let's share when we have a solution to some things because we struggle a lot i mean it's all it already, it already has to be a woman in in today's society so let's as much as we can help each other let's help each other and let's let's do better let's be better parents be better women and let's come about and come out and speak about the struggles that we go through to help someone else especially if you have a platform so I guess that's what i'm trying to say and the, yeah thanks for watching guys and um this is my reaction to the whole african and pregnant thingy the whole african and pregnant series from stephanie Coca. and um until i see my next video guys please continue to remaining good continue to remaining good god bless you bye